Make more features. Finish today's trade five and three quarters cents higher, settling at six seventeen and a quarter. Today's rally was the first in four days, which helped trim losses for the week to twenty two and a half cents. The slide lower this week did put the gap from July twenty sixth back. That comes in near five ninety five and a quarter to six dollars. The RSI or Relative Strength Index finished the week at twenty nine point six eight. Typically, anything under thirty is technically oversold. So although we did get a rally in today's session, the market is still technically oversold if you're looking at the RSI. Now, yesterday's weekly export sales report showed net sales of 1,412,000 metric tons, or about 55.6 million bushels for marketing year 2022-2023. This was up noticeably from the previous week and 57% higher than the four-week average. Japan was the primary buyer, accounting for 469,000 metric tons, followed by South Korea, unknown destinations, and Mexico. Now, there's an old saying that small crops get smaller, and that seems to be playing out in Argentina as conditions on their crop continue to deteriorate. The updated crop ratings from the Buenos Aires Grain Exchange show a corn crop with a poor rating at 59%. This versus 56% last week. And just 5% of the crop has a good rating, which is a 1% drop from last week.